There are many benevolent souls that struggle with fear. They live with intense fears. Many of these are of a material consequence and many of a spiritual quality. There are many individuals uh, that vibrate fear of the Lord, fear of God. They see uh, their devotion as an extension of fear of God. But such devotions were not intended to be fear-driven. Fear is a baser resonance, uh, one that detaches, one that deconstructs. The appropriate coordinate was intended awe, awe of God, awe of the divine, awe of source of all. As the resonance of awe is one of reverence. Reverence of the sanctity of a relationship. A humility to the intricacy and beauty of the engagement. And that awe instills within a person a fear to lose that intimacy, to lose that connection. The reverence of the connection is an expression of awe. That is the appropriate resonance of fear and spiritual devotion, but never to fear of a God of retribution, a God of judgments for source is all benevolent and all is always for the greatest benevolence and all are eternally worthy there are spiritually dynamic individuals that get stuck in a vortex of intimidation and fear and these individuals that attract such fear is not a coincidence for the fear follows them measure for measure based on a resonance that's residing within their soul. These individuals are confounded at times by agencies of intimidation and fear and for such an individual there are two important coordinates to relay. Firstly, it is that every chord in the creation has a hierarchy above it until it reaches the totality of all that is source. And so if there's any agency that is uh, delivering strong energies of fear and intimidation, to a particular establishment and took a particular individual or entity realize that this fear, this agent distributing or distilling fear is fearful of an even higher agency that is distilling fear. And that agency is even more fearful of an even higher agency. And this goes on and on, higher and higher and higher agencies, all fearful of one another, until that fear is converted to its proper solution of reverence and awe before source of all that is. 
when you recognize that every agency that is imparting and instilling fear is truly a construct from a benevolent structure in order to impart to you a lesson of what is a void within yourself, then you will no longer fear it, but you will have gratitude and recognition for the lesson it is imparting to you in your journey. As well, in recognizing that that party too feels a tremendous amount of fear for another agency and another agency, another agency above it, it takes off the edge and allows you to take it outside the emotional spectrum and look at it and analyze it from a uh, interdimensional but compassionate linear, uh, interdimensional, compassionate but logical perspective without getting torn in your emotions. Lastly, is the following. The spiritually dynamic individuals that are attracting fear paradigms, fear dominion paradigms into their circle, they often will search themselves and search their souls for what is it about their resonance, what is it about that is within them that is creating a void that is a vortex pulling more of like fear, resonance, more of that void into their circle measure for measure. And they have difficulty locating the source of this. Even many illuminated and advanced individuals will struggle with this phenomenon. The solution, dear ones, is that the spiritually dynamic individuals that have a deep understanding of the spiritual terrain are apt to fall into the following quagmire. They know so much about creation and about agencies delivering creation to the front lines of actuality. They know so much about source that they begin to define all source, all that is in the perspective of their understanding of what they know. And they're cutting off source from all the unknown from the mystique of all that has not come into manifestation, that is in the world of possibilities and potentials, that is the aspect of Source that is the great abyss, the light that is subdued in appearance of darkness. And they do not recognize the totality of all that is, for they're only recognizing what it is that they witness, but they are not recognizing all that is that has not come into manifestation, or that is the great unknown. And in cutting off from within themselves that aspect of Source, there is a sake of benevolence that transpires whereby the awe that is missing for the totality of all that is draws forth like resonance that manifests in the disconnect and in the base of frequencies of dread and fear and agencies carrying such energies. But as you graduate to redeem through unconditional love and awe for the deep unknown, the sacred contract to attract such agencies of intimidation, fear, and dominion is broken. 
and all that is shines ever present in far more intimacy and deliverance.